how to install RAM into a desktop computer. This is extremely easy and straightforward to do. So let's get right down to it. You first just have to make sure that your motherboard supports your RAM, the main factor being what kind it is, whether it be DDR3, DDR4, DDR5, 6, 7, 11, infinite, whatever. If you look up your motherboard's manual or specifications online, you'll quickly see what kind it supports. From there, all you have to do is know how much RAM and what speeds your motherboard can handle. If it says each RAM slot supports up to 16 gigabytes, just make sure you obtain RAM modules that don't exceed 16 gigabytes. The same rule goes for speed. If what you look up says the motherboard does not support anything beyond 2933 megahertz, get RAM that is not clocked any faster than, you guessed it, 2933 megahertz. Basically, other than that, you're good to go. If your RAM is supported by your motherboard, it's time to install it. What we're working with today is a pair of 16 gigabyte DDR4 Corsair Vengeance modules clocked at 2933 megahertz. Let's get them in. In which RAM slots should you put them? My motherboard, like most of them, has four RAM slots. In every single case, they'll be located next to the processor, which this big old chunky device rests on top of. This is the heatsink. They will generally be labeled as follows, from left to right, starting with the one immediately next to the processor. A1, A2, B1, and B2. Oftentimes, you'll notice the ones with the matching numbers also have the matching colors. Without info dumping you here, you want your RAM to run in a multi-channel mode instead of single channel mode, if you can. Long story short, multi-channel modes are faster. In in order to do this, you want your pairs of RAM running in the same numbered slots, for example, A1 and B1, or A2 and B2. Not A1 and A2, or A1 and B2. I have just two modules here, so if I put them in either pair of slots, I'll get my system running in dual channel mode. Bada bing, bada boom. But hold on, there's one more thing to consider. Which pair of slots should I put these in? Does it matter? Back in the day, the general rule of thumb was to install your first pair of RAM in the pair of slots starting from the one on the very left, again, the one closest to the processor. This usually was A1 and B1. However, more and more modern motherboards are starting to instruct you to insert your first two modules in the second pair of slots, A2 and B2. Without getting too technical here, your system will run a little faster if you do this. Whether you have four slots and your motherboard can run in dual channel mode, six slots in triple channel, or eight slots in quad channel, the same exact rule applies. Check your motherboard's manual where you should install your pairs of RAM. If you have only two slots of RAM, simply fill them both up, and you'll be in short dual channel mode. If you only have one module, just put it in whatever slot is recommended first. With my motherboard, this would be slot A2. If you have three modules, put two in the first recommended pair, and then the third in the first slot of whatever pair is suggested next. Again, in my case, this would be slot A1. With three modules, many motherboards will revert the whole speed back down to single channel mode. However, here in 2022, more and more motherboards are beginning to have the capability of running the RAM in multi-channel and single-channel modes simultaneously. Now, don't be scared if you're new to this. Your computer won't break if you put any of the RAM modules in unoptimized spots. It should still boot up and run just fine no matter where you put any of it, and you'll still reap the benefit of having more RAM. It just may not run as fast as it could, and it's best you get the most bang for your buck. Okay, so now that we know where to put the RAM, let's look at how we will do so. The RAM slots will have at least one latch on either end of them. Mine, like a lot of more modern motherboards, at least since 2021, has just just one latch on each slot, located at the top of them. All you have to do is depress it with your finger. It's really easy to do. Again, some slots will have two latches you'll need to disengage. Either way, once the slot is free, it's time to drop the sucker in. There's only one possible orientation it can fit, so don't worry about inserting it in the wrong way. <laughs> no, no, not that thing, silly. I'm talking about the RAM module. Notice that its teeth are asymmetrical, which is a word that means not symmetrical. This will help you visually line up the module with the slot. Once you're pretty sure you got this, gently place the RAM on in. You can shimmy it around a bit just to make sure you have it aligned correctly. When you can tell it's in, press down on either one of the sides until you hear and or feel a click. Then do the same thing to the other side. Once that one clicks as well, ta-da, congratulations, you did it. The RAM is in and as long as it's compatible with your system and nothing is damaged or broken, should be recognized by your computer and ready to use. That's it. That is how you install RAM into a desktop computer. There are no drivers required or any further steps you need to take in order for it to run. Your system should immediately recognize it all. If you're still having trouble, I have some more videos on this linked in the description that you can check out, such as making RAM run in dual channel mode, as well as a RAM FAQ video. In the description, I also have videos on installing the power supply, graphics cards, 
card, processor, motherboard, case fans, and basically any component you would put into a computer. Subscribe for more PC tech videos, and if you have any questions, as always, leave a comment and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks for watching. Torx out.